What is up, everybody? It's me, Josh, Relentless Motorsports, the high school dropout that's fixing stuff that your engineering degree can't fix. <laughs> it's a shirt that somebody get from me, but I love it. Anyway, what am I working on today? Let me tell you, I'm a little slow today, so I'm going to actually have a little time to work on my Supra. I'm going to upload that video, so you guys are getting two videos today. You're going to get the upload video of this new, not new service, but I'm, I'm re-innovating and, and re not re-innovating, but reviving a service back to Relentless Motorsports TX for you SCGS guys. I was talking about the other day driving the Corvette. A lot of you guys saw it. I'm in the SC. Hardtop SC. How, how rare is that? Manual hardtop SC. How to go get as you, many of you guys know, I'm a coffee fiend. I love this stuff. It's mm, better than crack. I'm just messing with you. I don't. I wouldn't know what crack's like. I've never done it. Don't plan on it. Anyway, I am bringing back the service for the SC clusters, the GS clusters, the ES clusters, and the Aristo clusters. Um, and I'm going to be installing. Them Sparco Munza seats in the Mark IV Supra. So I'm in my personal garage. I'm not at RMS today. Personal garage. So it looks a little different. I know you guys seen the other garage. There's no Supra sitting here. But anyway, so let me turn it on. This is what the cluster will look like or could look like. Now let me give you a little insight on some things about the difference between gauge cluster needles, years of clusters, whatnot. This is my 1993 SC300. So now let me tell you a little bit about the, the 1993 SC300. I'm gonna keep drinking my coffee. I, I feel rude doing this, but it's getting warm, but. I like iced coffee. Um, let me explain something. So in 1990, 1992 to 1994, SC300s, you can actually change the color of the needle lights. It's really cool. And that's because the needle housing themselves, the little optical acrylic lens in the needle where the light comes through, is like a frosted translucent white plastic so if it's white pretty much you know white is technically clear you can you can put whatever color behind you what be whatever color you want behind it and color overpowers white always on the spectrum so it'll it'll change the color of it it'll make it blue like mine's the isf inspired as i called it um late 94s all the way up to the 2000s SCs and GSs and whatnot, they have the red needles, that little uh, plexiglass, little piece of uh, translucent lens that's in the needle body is actually red. So it's, it's literally, it's like a blood red color. So you can't change the color of it. Unfortunately, all you can do is make them light up red. Now you can, and they're getting hard to find. I used to have a whole load of them. I don't know more. If you find like a, an older SC, the needles from the SC cluster will fit in the GS cluster and vice versa. And you can actually make the needles change any color. Now, now there is a little more work for making the older cluster needles work in a newer cluster. Um, like 97 and older for the SCs I'm talking about. I don't know about the year for uh, the GS. 97 and older SCs. It's more, yeah, it's 97 and older, or actually, no, it's GS. Or it's been so long since I've done this. No, it's like late 96 all the way back. Have one kind of gauge cluster. They get the gauge cluster similar to this. In later 97, all the way up until they stopped making the SC, the gauge cluster is totally different. I cannot work on those. I cannot work on those. 
the ones that have the double little screens here where's my keys the later ones that have the little screen the two screens here and all that and they're different or like the 98 one where it's got the zigzag gated shifter deal I can't work on those gauge clusters I just want to let you guys know but um I'll show you what this looks like. As you see, they work. Actually, I'm sitting out here and I'll let the car idle for a few minutes. The heat feels good. I got the heat on. It's pretty cold out here today. Um, back to the gauge cluster needle talk. So now on the ES300, those needles are unique to its cluster. The gas and temp needle are slightly longer than the SC and the, the 1GS cluster needles. So those, they're, they're orange as well. Their translucent little lens is orange. So, you know, you have the orange, which is ES, GS, and 95, 96 SC have the red needles. Um, those needle, if you put older needles in those clusters, it's a little hard because the polarity changes on the two posts, it flips. So what, so let's say this is negative and this is power, the polarity is now flipped. So you got to do a little bit of more um, solder work and a little bit more of an intricate wiring job to make, you know, the leads to actually have it function and work as it should. But uh, we can discuss that later on. What I really just want to let you guys is I am bringing this service back out. I'm letting you know now though, it's not going to be cheap. It's a lot of work. Parts are getting really expensive and the company I just hired to remanufacture, not remanufacture, but redesign pieces that I use to fix it is not giving me any slack no matter how much I order. So unfortunately, the service, my hair's all over the place, the service is not going to be cheap. But if you love the car, love mine, it's well worth it. I mean, just look at that. Blue, white backlights, it's really pretty. Um, I'm working on getting software to where I can correct mileage I don't have it yet. I mean, who doesn't who doesn't want an ISF style cluster? And look, when the lights come on, it dims. The dimmer works. Dimmer still works. Or we can go full bright, which they are really bright with the light switch. Everything still works as factory. Turn signals work. Provide your brake light works in the dash, your brake light. If you're wondering why I got an ABS light on, it's because I got FIGS engineering upper arms and I no longer have uh, uh, rear ABS wheel speed sensors. So it's triggering that. I gotta pull the cluster out and take the light out. I might do that today. I've been needing to do that for over a year, but uh, I'm kind of kind of lazy at times. But as you can see, Relentless Motorsports, I got you, I got you, I got you guys. I love you guys, I love old cars, and I just wanna keep things going for you guys. Anyway, for all your automotive electronics needs, if you want it done by a real enthusiast, somebody that's just as passionate about these things as you are, maybe even more passionate, hit me up. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, Email me at salesrmstx at gmail.com or you can forward, look, or not forward, or you can send me, shoot me a message on Facebook at sales, I mean at relentlessmotorsportstx.com. I'm still a little, a little asleep. I'm stumbling over my words. My coffee's not in here yet. Well, I've been drinking it, but it hasn't kicked yet. So to look me up, let's do this again. <laughs> Email me, salesrmstx.com at gmail.com. I will repeat that one more time. Sales, RMS, 
tx at gmail.com. Now on social media, whether it's IG or Facebook, you can look me up at Relentless Motorsports TX. If you want to go on my website and you want to read all the disclaimers and all what I do and who I am and whatnot and check me out, um, you can look me up at www.relentlessmotorsportstx.com. Shoot me a message on there too. Um, on there though, make sure that you fill out the little form where it asks your name, your email, stuff. Put it in. It makes it so much easier for me to get a hold of you. Just don't click the quick, uh, quick assist box because I don't even respond on there because I, I don't have time to sit on the computer all day while I'm working. So if you want me to get back to you, message me, like actually shoot me a message on there and I will call you back. I will respond to you, whatnot. Um, that quick response, it'll say so. It'll tell me what you said, and then right after it tells me what you said, it says, "Cannot." When I try to send you a message, it'll basically just tell me. It'll be like this person will see the message if they ever come back to the website. So, in other words, if you don't come back to the website, you'll never get it. So, shoot me an email on there. It's easier, or just like I said, go to my email and email me at the sales rmstx. You know. Anyway. It's been fun talking to you guys. Um, these Recaro seats are really comfy, even if I am a bigger guy. But I got stuff to do, so I got to get out of this car, which means I got to get off this phone that I'm recording on. And uh, hopefully I hear from you guys soon. Anyway, later. Keep old cars alive. And uh, remember, stay relentless. Peace out.